And we're back with Andrea Bishop, who's here to show us a really neat way to scan fabrics for quilt designs. Welcome. It's good to be back. Good to see you. Well, today I want to get back to basics, kind of, because when you think of fabric and design, a fundamental aspect of that is scanning fabrics. Okay. So let's look at the fabrics here on the table. And this one here, lots and lots of pattern and design. When you scan fabrics, you always want to try to find the repeat. Uh huh. So I've got some little helpers to help us try and find the repeat here. So this is just kind of these little post-its that you, you've, cut, you've cut out. You basically are just framing the fabric to figure out which part you want to Right. Scan. So I would probably go to the center of each of these little yellow flowers. And then that way, this is the image I would create. And when it repeats in the quilt, it'll always look seamless. Okay. Sometimes the fabric repeat is larger than your scanner bed, in which case you would probably only want to go to something that's really important. So uh, an image about that big would okay. also work. So you make it smaller so it would fit on, your, on the scanning bed. Right. Okay. So another important part of scanning to remember is that if your fabric is wrinkled, Mm -hmm. the wrinkle is going to show up on your screen when you create the image. So always make sure to iron. So this fabric is ironed, and now I'm going to take it to the scanner. Okay. And you just put it face down and scan away. Save and that'll it. get it into the computer. Exactly. So save it as a JPEG, GIF, TIFF, whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. whatever format your scanner allows you to do. Okay. And then we move to the quilt design software and it's as easy as importing through the fabric library. So we open and the fabric. And that'll bring the fabric up on the screen? Yep. And you just go browse to find your image files wherever you saved them. And it's looking. And I'm just going to select all of the ones I scanned earlier. And you just add them to your sketchbook. Oh, great. And okay. that's easy. And then what do you do, what do, you do after that? Well, um, you can color quilt blocks with it. So uh -huh. let's say you pick this fabric and you want to pair it with a pink maybe, or you want to use the one that we used earlier. Oh. And that's a little busy. Now it's starting to look interesting. <laughs> but you can go in and change around the fabrics to complement one another until you find something that you like. Okay. And you keep going and scanning fabrics. And some of the ways you can use this is, for instance, with the quilt in front of us. Okay. This one is from Sarah Woodward at our office. Mm -hmm. She was in a quilt swap where they had to design around one piece of fabric. And okay. by scanning in the fabric, she was able to plan a quilt that complemented the fabric. Well, Andrea, thanks so much for coming. My pleasure. Next up is Tina Gibbons.